Uh, hi, Mary Rez right here. I'm in Cape Town and I'm going to talk to you about Corona Street number 10 and it's going to be fascinating. Now, you know, one of the most important thing is to able to establish who is the person in front of you. Is he going to cheat you? Is he honest? Uh, is he, what kind of person is he? And in the day to day, most of the people don't know how to do it. They have a person in front of them and they listen and they don't really actually observe what's going on and they make a lot of mistakes. And because of that, they get disappointed. Now what's good about moments or periods where you have a lot of stress and pressure is that your true actual behavior shows up. When you're under pressure, you'll see that people will actually show up their true self. So you can look and observe at the person um, that um, is part of this situation and has financial, financial uh, stress or has relation problems because people are very close to each other and they sometimes create all kind of interesting misrelationships. And you look at them and by their behavior, right now, you can actually understand and predict who they are and what you're going to do with them once all this thing is gone. So for example, someone called me and asked me, you know, um, should I pay the rent? Because I can maybe not. So from my viewpoint, agreement is an agreement. It's an agreement is agreement and you need to keep your agreement. And of course that uh, specific person is very ethical and he, he just wanted to do the right thing and he, it was it made total sense to him. But I had another person that called me and he's also a business owner and he also need to pay um, his rent. And he says, look, uh, we don't have income and I don't know how I will pay. Uh, and we have uh, very little money that I need for other things. And I think I can squeeze this uh, uh, landlord and not pay. And I said, would you want your students not to pay to you. You want your customers not to pay to you. Say, well, that's different. It's not different. It's just that person's viewpoint. It is his viewpoint on life. He's breaking the agreement on, not only with the, with the landlord. He's breaking agreement in his life. So you need to know this guy is going to break agreement. And how he will handle it is also very fascinating because the way that he handled that disaster is how he handled any disaster in life or any situation in life and uh, you need to understand that um, when you look at people on the day to day when everything seems to be okay they're not handling life life handling them you are handling life when thing goes wrong and you do something you need to act you need to be you need to put your viewpoint into the situation so when someone look at an agreement and uh, he comes to you and he's, he says, well, you know, I want to break the agreement. And uh, you say, no, it's just, you know, this, uh, it's, it's law and we keep our agreements. We make sure he, the guy can get really upset and attack you. Or the guy can, um, on the other hand, be really nice. But if you don't agree, he will attack you or he will start to blame you or many different things. You, you see that at um, uh, those times where, for example, I have an increased situation with production right now. I produce much more. I, I have my normal job and I have my normal businesses and I have my hobby, which is coaching. And I also decided to do things about the Corona, to take responsibility for the Corona. So I've got increased production. So uh, my reaction time sometimes to email or WhatsApp calls, I generally, fin I always finish my inbox uh, by the end of the day, 99% of the time. But I, in the inbox, I'm talking about my email inbox, my uh, uh, Instagram inbox, my WhatsApp inbox. Uh, but sometimes 
it takes a few hours. And then the re how people handle your delay tells you everything about them. Because how can they handle it? On the one hand, they can be very uh, aggressive and so on. You know, you always answer immediately and now you don't answer. You don't like me anymore. What's happening with you? It's not okay. Another person can say, uh, can act and say, well, you know, you always, always said that you answer immediately and now you don't. It tries to make you wrong. So if that person will try to make you wrong all, in everything in life, in any important situation, or they can say, uh, how dare you not answer it? You used to answer immediately. How dare you don't answer? And he, they do it in a different way. But if you will observe, you will pick up from their behavior, behavior right now on any situation. Anything, when, when I say situation is anything that is not ideal, anything that causes stress for them, you can observe and see what's actually the real viewpoint is. And you can use this, uh, the corona uh, lie, <laughs> you can use this corona nonsense uh, in order to establish who is in front of you. It is an unbelievable tool. Just observe how people handle the stress. Are they afraid? If a person is afraid, you need to know that person cannot be trusted because cowards are liars. Uh, they, are, they are obviously cannot see because fear is a state of imperception. You don't perceive. Uh, and, uh, and I'm not talking about someone that uh, you do wow and you get afraid for a second. I, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking if the viewpoint is fear, if everything is dangerous, if they are not willing to, to hear any other viewpoints. If they are just totally locked, they are afraid, they are afraid. When you are afraid, you don't perceive. So it's not important how, many, how much logic you give to the other person uh, and how much uh, information you show him and how much data you give him. The guy is locked. Why? Because he does not perceive. Now, it's not that he's a bad person, but that's his viewpoint on life. And that's how we handle everything in his life. And the only thing you need to know is when a person handles things in one way, in, in one situation, that's his viewpoint. And specifically, I'm talking about the situation and not any occurrence. And the day-to-day -day occurrence, you can go high, down, you can be happy, unhappy. Uh, you can handle things in different way. But how do you handle situation how do you handle when things don't go your way how do you handle when the uh, when the hit uh, hit when the hit hits you uh, how, what do you do when the things become uncomfortable if you are afraid you know what's the person who is the person if you are angry you know that this person will continuously always handle situation angrily what does it mean to be angry is to hold to stop you know, when you're angry, you want to punch, but you don't have as much oomph behind your punch. Uh, you, after you got, after you relax, you think, well, I should have told him that, I should have told him that, I should have told him that, why? Because when you're angry, you stop. So if that person behaves in an anger manner, you need to know that's the way he will handle anything. If the person is just um, uh, looking at the situation, and he's just like, okay, it happened, I have nothing to do, and so on. You know, that's how he handled all other things in life. He, he is like, he will look at them and he, he will not get really excited, but not really upset, nothing. And if the person look at the situation and find a nice thing about it and say, well, I can do something about it, it's not so bad, there is good in all of that, you know who's that guy? This guy is the guy that will make things go right. Now the fascinating thing is that you can decide what's your emotions that you will use because emotion is something you create. It doesn't happen to you. You 
create your own feeling. You create your own emotion. Now, if you want to learn much more about it, if you want to learn how to control your emotion, if you want to learn how to get yourself up, if you want to learn how to handle the corona situation and the, the day after, in terms spiritually, how to handle the body, how to handle your business, how to handle your kids, if you want to learn all of that, register to the Corona Survival Pack. It is, if you look online, you'll see the winds are unbelievable. People change, change life. Um, and you can learn that you can do something about the situation. You can make this situation into something good, not a situation. That's all. Mayor Ezra here. And control your emotion. Create them. Put yourself up. And when you see someone that's down, don't get upset with them. He's not a bad person. He is just demonstrating low emotion. That's his viewpoint. And you can help him if you learn how. How do you, con uh, how do you register? www.meir, this is my name, M E. I R hundred the number hundred X dot com. That's all. Here is right here. Captain Heaven. Mwah.